What's up, Star Wars fans? My name is Prince, and I'm an urban acolyte. And I'm going to give you guys the five things that I hope to see in Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. Before I get to my list, just want to give a shout out to my, in, my Amazon influencer page. I believe the website is amazon.com slash shop slash urban acolyte TV. Anyway, my list, the five things that I hope to see in The Last Jedi. Number one, y'all know who's going to be at the top of the list. I'm riding this man till the wheels fall off. I want to see Finn be a big deal, but also want to see him meet Luke Skywalker. Now, I said I want to see him meet Luke Skywalker because there's been this question. Is Finn Force sensitive? Does he have the Force? Some people are saying that after this movie, after this saga, it's just going to explode everything. Forget about midi-chlorians. Everyone has the force. That's even something that, uh, that Daisy Ridley said in an interview. Uh, she said it jokingly with Domna Gleason, who plays Armitage Hux or General Hux, is that everyone has the force. So right now, all we know is we think Finn may have heard the screams from from uh, uh, Hosnian Prime, or at least the way it was edited, it kind of seemed that way, that he was hearing those screams before the planet was destroyed. That's that's echoing Obi-Wan, hearing uh, the, the sounds of a, a, million cry, a million crying out, and then suddenly going silent, right? We had Kylo Ren looking at Finn very strange. In Finn's story, he says he looked at Kylo Ren and saw an aura around him. Was that... That was a, a, a funny way to word that that situation, right? He saw an aura around him. Was he seeing the aura of the Force? Was Kylo Ren seeing something going on with Finn through the Force? Uh, you know, everyone has the Force, but was there something special going on? How do you account for uh, Finn's uh, expertise, him being in the top 1% of all Stormtroopers? So for me... Finn having some interaction with Luke Skywalker could answer this question uh, once and for all, or it could tease us even heading into episode nine, right? Is Finn going to meet Luke Skywalker? I don't know, but I, I'm starting to wonder, and I guess I'll know in a few hours, you know, Ray is going to be on Supreme Leader Snoke's Mega Star Destroyer. Finn is going to be there. And it seems like they all might need someone to rescue them. We've seen Luke Skywalker get in the Millennium Falcon, tour the cockpit, turn the lights on. Why would you power up the Millennium Falcon if you don't plan on taking a trip? I think that Luke Skywalker might come to the rescue of Rey and Finn and Rose and DJ and maybe even Kylo Ren, right? His nephew, Ben Solo. Next, number two, five things I hope to see in The Last Jedi is how Rey convinces Luke Skywalker to teach her. I feel like this is a huge misdirect that we're seeing, oh, well, Luke is gonna reject Rey and Rey is gonna go to Kylo Ren and Snoke because she wants to learn about the Force. Now, I started talking about this in my prediction video that I posted, I don't remember if I posted it yesterday or the day before, and I, 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 I started talking on something and I like jumped to the next topic and I never completed that statement, but I said, I feel like Luke is like the Zen master and he does these unusual things, right? And I don't, that's why like you guys gotta, in, in 2018, you gotta pay attention to how I word things. Cause I said how Ray convinces Luke Skywalker to teach her. I didn't say train her, to teach her, to teach her about the force. Uh, if you look at the marketing, right? We've seen the poster, it says, uh, what, like choose your path and fulfill your destiny. Luke is offering this choose your path where Ray, or, or I'm sorry, Snoke is fulfill your destiny. And I'm going to tell you what your destiny is, where uh, Luke is like, choose your path. I'm going to, I'm going to give you the tools to choose, to decide what you're going to do, but I'm not going to train you. If you choose the Jedi path, Here's the books. Here's where you need to go. These are this. This is the 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 trail like Hansel and Gretel laying laying those uh, breadcrumbs. Here's the path that you can follow to learn how to become a Jedi. Ray, I think it's I think it's time for the Jedi to end. But if you don't, if you want to be a Jedi, 
then that is completely, totally up to you. So I want to know how that interaction between Luke and Ray goes. Uh, how does she end up going to Kylo? Maybe he knows something about the Jedi. She's, well, I'm, I'm going to restart the Jedi. That actually takes me to point number three. So let me say that. Of the five things I hope to see in The Last Jedi, number three, are Kylo Ren and Rey, are they friends? Are they enemies? Or are they uneasy allies? So I feel like either Kylo Ren is going to capture Rey to take her to Snoke, or he wants to kill her, he wants to extract his revenge, or Rey goes to him seeking knowledge, seeking information. Why did you turn? What is it about the Jedi that you hate? What, what's, dude, what's going on with you so that I don't also stumble down this same path so that whatever went wrong with you, it doesn't go wrong with me. Now, is there going to be a relationship? You guys know how I feel about Raylo. Right now, I don't really care to see any romances. Um, I'm trusting that Ryan Johnson was correct when he said that there's no like overt romance stuff that's not part of this story that he's trying to tell. If Raylo happens, it happens, right? If you want to, if, if for the Raylo people, if you want to come back and say, Prince, I told you so, well, you didn't really tell me so. I told you that it's not something I really want to see. I don't see how it makes Ray's character stronger. If somebody writing, working on this can do it in a convincing way, I'll accept it. Number four, the number four thing that I hope to see in The Last Jedi is there something special about Rose, right? Why is this character here? Why are people raving about Kelly Marie Tran's performance? They say she's going to be the breakout star. She's going to be the person that everyone is going to be talking about after they see this movie. Now, we've seen Kelly Marie Tran. She was training with, a, 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 was it a Boken or a Shanai? She's training with a a bamboo like training sword that's used in Japanese martial arts. Now to me, if I see someone training with a Shanai or a Boken, my immediate thing, thought is, are they going to be using a lightsaber? Is Rose going to pick up a lightsaber in this movie? Could she? Now she, we've also seen her, she's doing a boom, 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 pew, pew, you know, doing the cutesy thing. I'm not making fun of her. Um, <laughs> the number five thing, the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with, and I'm going to get this video posted and uh, get changed so I can bounce across town to see this freaking movie. Why is Leia stepping down from the resistance and where does the character go? Or, you know, for my Aussie friends, where does the character go? <laughs> where is Leia's character going? And I could say the same for Luke and for Ben Solo. Where are the Skywalkers going, right? Those are the things that I'm really going to be looking for in this movie. Like, you know, we've heard that Leia is going to be stepping down. Vice Admiral Holdo is taking charge of the resistance. Is she, does she have a, a, a other, well, she better, she better have her own fleet of whatever remains of the new Republic, right? She better have her own forces because the resistance, I'm telling y'all, when this movie starts, they know where Dakar is. They know where the resistance base is. I'm, I know when this movie jumps off, we're going to see the resistance on the run. They're going to be getting their butts kicked. There's a reason that they're going to this old base that Bail Organa set up on Crate. They're going there for a reason, right? They got to lick their wounds, right? Yeah, they blew up Starkiller Base, but they lost a whole lot of manpower in the process, a whole lot of ships, uh, a whole lot of everything, right? And they didn't have a lot to begin with. You know that if you've been reading the Poe Dameron comic book. Now, why is Leia stepping down? Uh, no one knows, not too many people know that Kylo Ren is her son. So is that going to have something to do with it? Is there something, you know, it comes out that her son is Kylo Ren? you know, or that Han Solo died and she's conflicted over that. The fact that she suffered this major, major casualty and the fact that it was her son who murdered her husband, you know, they were still married. They were kind of space divorced, but they were still, you know, there was a separation, but there, I don't believe there was any official divorce, right? So they were still very together. It was just this dude doing this that kind of pushed them uh, apart, right? 
But where do where do we leave Leia? Right now, this I I hope this doesn't come off as a spoiler. I I did another video on it about Ray and Leia. Uh, possibly having their final scenes together to end the movie. So that kind of tells me, tells you right there uh, where Ray is going to end up and where Leia is going to end up. They're going to end up somewhere together, right? Uh, you know, could Ray turn to the dark side and murder Leia? I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Ray is going to turn to the dark side at all, but we could be surprised, right? She could struggle. She might walk that line, right? But where, where, where is Leia going? Where is Luke going? And where is Kylo Ren going? So like I said, that's a question for the entire Skywalker clan. Those are the five things I hope to see in The Last Jedi. You guys, if you are not watching it until tomorrow or uh, the weekend, let me know your, the things, the five, tell me five things that you also hope to see in The Last Jedi in the comments below. And I'll be checking back to see what you all have to say. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so that you can take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. Continue to support the channel. You can do that by checking out more videos on this wonderful channel all about Star Wars and the Force. And uh, that's all I got for this one. So thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing and may the force of others be with you always.